welcome to my Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we finished up a lot of things and added Achu the Pikachu to our team. Today, I'm actually going to show you guys the level ups. Bolin is 31, Achu's 38, Doki's 40, Kaji's 39, and Brinkar is 35. I finally trained them off screen like I told you guys, and I've left them at certain levels for certain reasons, which I'm sure you guys know of. Now today, we're actually going to be making our way back to Celadon City because we're finally going to be entering an area that we haven't been able to enter before. If you guys remember, when we were in Celadon City, the nice old lady gave us a tea, like a teacup, a cup of tea, and the cup of tea is actually what we're going to use to give to these guards to get past them. The guards are all super thirsty. I thought it was the fresh water or whatever because I'm used to red and blue. I'm a little bit old school in that sense, but it was actually the tea, so thanks to you guys for that suggestion. And now we have arrived here in Saffron City. Now there's a lot to do in Saffron City, but one of the first things we're going to take care of is that we're going to enter the Silphco office building because it seems like there's a lot of Team Rocket grunts around here. It's strange. They seem to be everywhere, and they seem to be taking over places with bad intentions. So I'm not, you know... I'm not, I'm not too keen for that. I think everyone should always have good intentions in mind. And if there's some bad ones, we're going to come in. We're going to stop them. We're going to kick their butts and see what happens here in life. All right, we're going to the fifth floor. Now, this is one of those that I kind of do remember what I'm supposed to do. So I am going to try my best to do it as fast as possible. And we have a battle. And with that, Bolin is evolving. So sweet. About time, right? I know. It seems like a long time. It seems like Bolin has been a little held back. But now that Bolin is finally going to evolve, I'm definitely going to be training it up. We're going to catch up on levels. That's one of the main things that I've been working on. So with that, guys. Oh, whoa, man. That thing is really huge and weird. Congratulations. Our Bolin evolved into Venusaur. So we have ourselves a Venusaur, which is really great. But wait. Brinkar is also evolving. So that is pretty much why I left him at those levels. Now, this is one of those gens where I do know what level these Pokemon, you know, go up at. Because these are Pokemon that kind of clicked in my head from my childhood. So, you know, I thought I'd plan it out because I know we definitely needed to evolve these guys. We're very close to final evolutions. With that, congratulations! Our Brinkar evolved into Pidgeot. So now we have a Venusaur, a Pidgeot, a Nidoking, a Flareon, and a Pikachu, which is amazing. But there's going to be a surprise in store today, guys. And I think a couple of you may know what's going to happen here. And it's that we're going to get a special item that's going to allow us to catch certain Pokemon. Which is going to be really great, guys. You'll see what happens. As you can see, I just obtained the card key. I highly recommend you come here to the fifth floor immediately. Without the card key, you're not going to be able to do anything here in this place. So just make sure you pick that up and then we can continue on our way. Probably the best advice you're gonna get honestly the best advice you're gonna get so let's keep looking through here Remember we're in search of taking down team rocket. So the way that we're gonna do this wait Soli's there. I'm running. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not about to deal with that life I'm just joking. We're, we're gonna have to have a rival battle here coming up. So it's okay I'm kind of ready for it. Let's pick up the hyper potion and I guess we're ready to take on our rival I think I need to heal up a little bit though or at least use a full heal if I remember correctly I think one of our dudes need a full heal. I bought a couple of these at the shop, by the way, guys. We do have full heals now, which is really, really good for us. We have, you know, hyper potions coming up very soon. I think it's the next town that we can actually buy them in. Maybe even now here in Saffron. So I'll be stocking up here as we go, you know, making some money on the side, going down to the coin shop, gambling away my coins, and probably losing it all and finding ways to make money, you know, that is actually a little bit efficient. With that, let's talk to Sully. What kept you, Rodri? Haha, <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. Turn up! I guess Team Rocket slow you down, not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Here we go, Rodri versus Soli! So let's go ahead and char challenge our rival once again. It's like our third, fourth rival battle, something of that sort. He's gonna open up with a Pidgeot. I'm gonna open up with an Achu! Bless you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, I appreciate all your support there. You know, I've gotten the sniffles here and there, and it looks like a chew does too. Bless you. Thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can take down this Pidgeot then. I don't think this battle should be too troublesome, but what can I say? Sometimes we get very lucky and we hit well. Other times, you know, things get messed up and we don't do as good. I remember being a kid, playing through the Silph Co for the first time. You know, nowadays that I've played through Fire Red or Red and Blue, 
you know, all those games so many times. It's pretty simple for me to remember what I have to do. Like, get the card key, then just go right back, you know, yada, yada, yada. But I remember when I was first a kid, the first time I walked into Silphco, I think... I don't even think I walked straight here. I tried to get into the gym, did a couple other things, and I was like, what am I supposed to do? Finally got into Silphco, and I saw, like, ten floors, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna save. I'm done. I'll do this tomorrow. You know, then, like, the next day I got on there, and I was like, all right, let's, uh, let's suck this up. Let's see if I can do Silphco. You know, immediately I went to the tenth floor, because that's what I thought, you know, was the thing to do, the logical thing to do. Start at the bottom, work your way to the top. You know, maybe eventually you'll find where you have to go, and it just took forever. I probably battled everything collected every item and I was still lost until I finally you know got to that little point on the fifth floor where I obtained the card key and even then I was just like I can't believe it took me this long this is probably one of those places in the game that if you haven't done it before it can really mess you up like when I was a kid I was completely like tripped up I had no idea what was going on it was demotivating and then but you know once you finally figure it out it's one of those good things a little bit like Zelda sometimes you'll forget a key or some important item but, you know, you'll leave it a couple days, and once you find it, you're like, yeah, right back on it, baby, right back on it. Snowhead Temple and Majora's Mask, definitely one of those, where I would get a little bit lost and a little bit confused, but then once I figured it out, I was like, yes, this is what I like to see right here, this is it. All right, guys, with that, we took down Alakazam, and Kaji is putting in some work. Good for us. Kaji is a very great addition to our team, honestly. Let's go ahead and switch out to Doki. Now, this is the Pokemon that's probably going to be the toughest to take down, and it is Soli's Charizard. It does worry me a little bit. Um, I, I know it has like wing attack, flamethrower, uh, smoke screen, and one other move, which I don't remember exactly. So if he could use a wing attack on us and we could like, you know, parry that back, you know, like use that attack, you know, like Zelda, like the parry attack, uh, use it to get back and uh, stab him right back with the counter. I think that could definitely help us. If not, then we'll have to see. I'm going to try my best, and uh, let's just keep our, our fingers crossed here. I need a Hyper Potion, though. That Flamethrower rips us apart. Honestly, he could probably Flamethrow most of our team and, and take us down. The only one I don't think he could take down at this point is Kaji. But Bolin, Brinkara, Chu, bless you very much, thank you, uh, would get messed up. You know, they would get pretty messed up. As you're going to be able to see, I'm going to try to use Achu, bless you, to heal us up. But if not, we up. Oh, yep, we're gonna be in trouble. This is gonna be a fantastic battle today. Of course, Charizard would be it. I need to train up a little bit, you know, a little more to take down this guy. I know Doki's gonna be the one to do it. I feel like, I don't know, maybe. Maybe Kaji will do it. Who knows? Sometimes you never know who's gonna take on what. Sometimes it's just random. Sometimes, you know, you just go into things in life and you, you hope things work out. And that's what I'm doing here. See, why couldn't he use wing attack? When we had uh, Doki out, now he's doing it on Kaji. Unfair. Unfair, my man, man. Very unfair. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see. I think I'm going to go for the quick attack. Might as well put a little bit of damage on him. You know, it's not a bad thing. I think... Ooh, okay, smoke screen. We might be able to get off a couple quick attacks, which will make it a lot easier for Doki. Oh, man. Soli is getting tough. Soli's starting to pull it together. This guy has a lot of potential. You know when you see someone, you're like, yeah, they got potential. That's what I see in you guys. And Sully, so, you know, you guys have a lot of potential. Put it out there. Try your best. Work things through. Forgive, forget. Move on. Try harder. That's pretty much life. We put a lot of damage on the Charizard. I think we'll probably be able to take it down here with Doki. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and send out Doki then. And let's hope for the best, guys. Let's see. Can we do it? I believe. Do you believe? I believe. Do you believe? I believe. Oh, yes. And he's poisoned. Okay. The Thrash should take him down. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. With that, we have defeated Soli, our rival, this hard, tough dude. We defeated rival Soli. Oh, man. So you are ready for Boss Rocket? Yeah, we got 1440 for winning, and he seems a little upset. Well, Rodri, I'm moving on up ahead. I check my Pokedex. I'm starting to see who's strong and how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? I'm going to be the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. I, I smell you too, man. I smell you too. All right, guys. Well, with that, it looks like we've done pretty well for ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and heal up because we do have another tough battle ahead of us right now, which is pretty cool. I enjoy battling different types of trainers and going and doing crazy things. I think it makes this game a lot more fun. It's quite enjoyable. I enjoy, you know, mixing it up once in a while and just battling. I feel like a lot of the time we run around and skip battles. So, you know, when we actually have the chance to do them, I enjoy it quite a bit. Let's heal up everyone, though, and then we'll be ready to proceed on. I think the next battle is actually going to be a little bit tougher. 
Or I don't know. We'll see. It might be okay. Let's just heal everyone up. I'm gonna buy more supplies after this too, guys. So, uh, quick heads up for you. Okay, so we're ready. Let's continue on. But wait. Oh, hi. You're not a rocket. You came to save us. Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. With that, guys, we obtained a Lapras. And what? Surprise, surprise. What? Did we just get a Lapras? What? A girl Lapras? What the heck is going on here? Yes, guys. With this, we have added our sixth team member finally. And we are gonna name it... Glaze. So with that, guys, Glaze has been added to our team. Surprise, surprise. Who would have thought two evolutions and our sixth team member added to our roster? Lapras is going to be our final team member. So with that, guys, you have our final roster completed. And it's looking very good. I do like it. I think it looks quite awesome. And Glaze is just going to fit right in. Miss Body Sand, Confuse Rate, and Perish Song, which is very, very awesome. If you guys have some movesets for Glaze or any of our Pokemon, let me know. As I was saying, also let me know when I can evolve Achu, bless you, I don't know when we will be able to, I think maybe level 41 is what I've heard. Ah, Rodri, so we meet again, the president and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters, or experience a world of pain. Here we go, Rodri versus Giovanni, Team Rocket's leader, let's go ahead and take him on again. So yeah guys, I know that we do have a good amount of moves on our Pokemon right now. But there's still quite a bit that we can learn. I know that Glaze can learn a lot of amazing moves. We definitely have like HMO3 Surf ready to teach to it. Uh, I'll probably go and look for Ice Beam. I think that would be a really good addition. I'm pretty sure I can get it in the game corner. So I'll probably work on getting that. Now just let me know when we can evolve our Pikachu. I think level 41 is the best one to do it. And it would be good because we're headed to Celadon anyways, you know, in order to, you know, get Ice Beam. Which I think is in the game corner. If it isn't... I don't know. I think it's there, though. And then we still have a couple more moves to learn. I think Bolin's doing okay. Kaj is all right. Doki could improve his moveset. So, you know, just give me tips on what you guys think would do. Now that we finally have our last team member, I know you guys are probably completely surprised that it all came at once. Two evolutions and the sixth team member. I was surprised myself how fast we added five and six. You know, this is a team I've had in my mind for a while, though. As I mentioned, Pikachu evolves into Raichu, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. And I've never really had the chance to use a Lapras on my team before, so I thought it would be pretty cool to add it as well, just because it looks cool. It reminds me of the Loch Ness Monster. As you guys know, I'm really big on that. I'm really big in, like, cryptozoology, that type of thing. So I think it would be really cool. Ever since I was a kid, I've always, like, loved cryptozoology. Now, if you guys don't know what it is, it's basically, like, the study of mythical creatures. Uh, Bigfoot, Thunderbird, Loch Ness Monster, you know, all those types of things. Those kind of, like, you know, hidden, like the hidden lore you know like almost like mythological creatures in a way like dragons would fit under that category ever since, well, since i was a kid i don't know i've always really been into it for some reason it's always like brought my attention i remember when i was a kid and people would ask like what do you want to be when you grow up and kids would be like fireman policeman i was like cryptozoologist and everyone would be like what is that you know it's just I, I was so into it i've always gone to the library and like i used to check out all the books on like the Loch Ness monster and everything and i just sit there and read them like over and over so like i pretty much know like everything about it like every story all the sightings like i i was pretty crazy and obsessed with it i think everyone has like that one obsession i think that was one of them for me like it's really weird it's actually on my right hand uh the finger next to the pinky whatever it's called the opposite ring finger i don't know what it's called i actually have a little scar on it that looks like the Loch Ness monster it's really weird it's like this really little scar um it's kind of like in the shape of a lapras you could say and it's really strange i i know i don't know how i got it so it must have been like a birth scar birthmark i don't know something like that it's like this tiny little scar and it looks like it and it always made me think like oh my gosh what if i'm destined to find the Loch Ness monster like, and, well, that's one of my things. I want to go to Scotland someday, go to Loch Ness, and maybe go on, like, an excavation and just, like, look around. Because, like, what if I did it and I saw it and I found it? I'd be, like, I'd be flipping out. I don't know what I would do. I'd probably be so happy, so content. I'd be so excited that I found this creature. I think it'd just be one of the coolest things that you could ever experience in life. Honestly, I'd probably be happy just seeing it. 
just you know seeing its head pop out and just seeing like a little dragon head I would that would be enough for me I'd be like my life is complete I am so satisfied I've thought about taking a trip there I probably should have done it this summer but it's been such a busy summer I've had so many things going on ups and downs but maybe maybe next summer hopefully by then I'll be graduated you know this is my senior year uh, of college of university so hopefully by then how cool would it be take a trip to Loch Ness when I graduate I think that would be a really good dream you know uh, something really cool that I think would be a lot of fun for me I, I personally would really enjoy that I'd enjoy going down there and checking things out and you know overall just looking around Scotland I love traveling that's one of my things so I love just going and checking it out yeah as I was saying I love mythical creatures I love that stuff I don't know I'm not that many people seem into it these days a lot of people don't believe in those things but I like to keep you know a little hope alive inside of me something inside of me has always told me like believe in the magic you know I think it makes us you know it's kind of it kind of helps us you know if you believe in something like weird and crazy and magical like dragons or something like that you never know you know it gives you a little hope in life that you can believe in something that maybe many people don't it almost gives you a little hope because you're you're hoping for something more than other people you know it may sound crazy that there's like some weird dragon monster thing in Loch Ness but hey why not why not believe in it, you know? Why not give it the chance? You can't go wrong. I mean, what's, what's the proof that it isn't there? You know, there hasn't been. So it's just fun. I like to keep my mind open like that and just, you know, think those things through. With that, we defeated Boss Giovanni, and we got 4,100 for winning. Blast it all. You ruined our plans for Sylph. But Team Rocket will never fall. Rodri, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. All right, well, who's this old man up here? Oh dear boy, thank you for saving Sylph. I'll never forget you saved us in a moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Anything? How about your assistant? Just kidding, we just obtained the Master Ball. So uh, that's good. Master Ball, you can pretty much catch any Pokemon you want with uh, no trouble. You throw the Master Ball at it, catches it on the first try. If you want to use cheats to get yourself 99 Master Balls, you do that. You know, the more fun you have, the better. I personally, if I was playing red or blue, I would missing new this up and I would get myself a bunch of different Pokemon because that's what I would like to do and that's what I enjoy doing as a kid. I don't have an escape rope. Our Pokemon are fainting. I am such a bad Pokemon trainer. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I think we can make it. Nurse Joy, I'm coming for you, Nurse Joy. I'm moving my little feet because little legs, look how he runs. He's so little. Little legs as fast as I can. I'm trying to come to you. I'm going to find you. Don't worry, you can save my Pokemon from passing out. Please, Nurse Joy, you can do it. All right, guys. Well, you know, as I mentioned, give me some tips on the Pokemon we should add. By that, I mean the TMs we should learn to the Pokemon we just added, because now we have six, and the team looks actually pretty freaking awesome. I actually really, really like our team. I like the way it came out. I think it's just a good variety, you know, a good mix to it. I'm, I'm a big believer in a good mix of things. So next time, we'll continue from here. Leave me some tips. And uh, we'll see where we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.